right guys, it's first thing in the morning. I'm in my pajamas, looking messy. I'm going to test my stomach acid with a very simple baking soda test. So basically I'll go through the directions right after this. Um, we wanna just basically drink the baking soda and water and then we're gonna time when we burp. So within three minutes, excellent. Within five minutes, not bad. After five minutes, if you don't burp or if you don't burp at all, then you have really low stomach acid and that's something we need to work on. So let's get to the direction. Okay guys, we're gonna test our stomach acid with a very simple at-home test. All you need is baking soda and neutral water, no alkaline water and no super acidic water, but just work with what you have, don't overthink it. Baking soda and water. So we're gonna take four ounces of water and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. So I don't have a specific measuring spoon, but if you do, that would be much better. I'm gonna kind of estimate here a quarter teaspoon. We'll go with that, okay. We're gonna mix it, obviously. So I'm fasted, I haven't brushed, no eating, no drinking, and it's right in the morning. I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> So now we're going to set a timer right after we drink it. Okay, so we're going to drink the whole thing. It's not very tasty. Ugh. Small gentle sip so you're not gasping for air or you're not swallowing air. And I'm going to burp because I swallowed some air. That is not the burp that we're looking for though. Okay, so I burped up any air that I swallowed, that way it's not gonna affect the results. Now we're gonna time it, okay? Within three minutes, you're doing really good on your stomach acid if you burp. Within five minutes, still pretty good, not as good as three minutes. After five minutes or no burp at all, you have low stomach acid, so we need to work on that, okay? And then the other way we can test if we have some kind of issue going on with stomach acid is the palpation test. So we're gonna go right under the sternum here, so right under the breastbone, and then one human inch, so about half of your thumb. We're gonna go over to the left, okay? And we're gonna feel right where we meet the ribs there. So right in the middle, slightly to the left, right between, uh, right where the ribs meet and right under the breastbone, okay? So we're gonna palpate there. We can do this lying down or standing up. If we have any sort of tenderness there in general, we know there's an issue going on with stomach acid. Whether it's high or low, we don't know yet. But that first baking soda test will tell you generally, I mean, it's not 100% accurate, but it does kind of point you in the right direction. So if we feel this area on top of doing the baking soda test, let's say you don't burp at all, and then you have tenderness here, you probably have extremely low stomach acid. Or if you burp within one minute and you have uh, tenderness here, you probably have slightly higher acid. But most people with GERD, acid reflux, heartburn tend to have low stomach acid. So I hope that helped.